you got a lawn that's mostly weeds and you want to reseed it, there's a number of different ways that you can do it. Now, the simplest way is pretty much the most palatable way for the average homeowner to go about the process. And that's what I'm going to describe in this video. The simplest way literally is to go and take your lawn mower, put it down onto the lowest setting possible, put the bag on it so that you can collect all of the clippings. So if the vast majority of what's in your lawn is weeds, most weeds, except for the perennials, but most weeds are annuals and they, they, they shoot up and they put on uh, flowers and seed heads. What we want to do is get rid of all of those flowers and seed heads, get them off of the lawn. So bag it all up, uh, get uh, your weedy lawn down as low as it possibly can get. And then you're going to go ahead and blanket spray the entire area with a non-selective herbicide. This is glyphosate, uh, better known as Roundup. Uh, you can also use something called bufosinate, which is slightly more natural of a chemical but it will kill just about everything that it touches. And then there's a whole host of other alternatives. Point here is this is also going to kill the grass and the grassy weeds that are in the lawn. You could put down just a weed killer, some sort of uh, three-way weed killer, but usually those aren't going to touch any grassy weeds that you have in the lawn. Now, typically the next day after I do that, then I'm going to go ahead and spread new grass seed on the ground. Once the grass seed is on the ground, all of the weeds and everything, that's not going to look like it has died for at least seven to ten more days. Uh, full death from the non-selective herbicide doesn't usually happen uh, until at least like day 15 to 20. So what we're going to be doing is using the shade from what's left on the lawn to get the new seed to take. If you put the new grass seed down and then continue to water it as if you've got bare dirt, then all of the existing grassy weeds and actual weeds on the lawn will slowly die off while your new grass seed starts to sprout. If you want to supercharge the process, you're going to put down a little bit of a peat moss or a very light top dressing of garden soil over the top of it. That's going to give the seed a little bit of cover so it's not going to dry out as fast. You'll get better, let's call it more even uh, germination rates. And depending on the grass seed that you put down, within uh, one to three weeks, your new lawn is really going to start coming in pretty good pretty quickly. Of course, Germinating grass seed and growing a new lawn from scratch is a little bit more challenging than that. It's hard to pack into a tiny little video like this. So make sure to watch this video up here all about growing a new lawn from seed. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, in the description is a link to a full resource, a full guide that I've produced on the same topic. Make sure to take a look at that next. 